guys welcome back to my channel i know you guys have been dying to see a newborn nighttime routine so i am so glad to be filming this for you guys so let's get started i just got done feeding Peniel, so now i am doing a diaper change on him and he did not pee all on me this time i mean after so many diaper changes mommies you kind of just get the hang of things now So after I get done changing him, I put him in his rocker room and I placed him in there for a little while so that I can run around the house real quick to finish some last minute nighttime errands. So a part of my nighttime routine is to feed the little kitties, little Winkster and little Hay. So usually I just walk around the house and shake the packets of food to call them so that they know that it's time to eat and nobody was downstairs so usually I just check upstairs to see if anyone's up there and there's one of them, little Winkster and you'll see why I call him Winky because he only has one eye, yes a one eye cat and little Hay is up in her throne. So I know I said kitties, but actually these two are nowhere near being kittens. The smallest one right here, little Hay, is actually 19 years old, very ancient. And then the big old cat is Tinky Blinky with the one eye. This is a new teething mitten that I got Canel called Numi. I got it off of Amazon and I'll leave a link down below if you all are interested. So we go to the doctor for his four month appointment or checkup next month. Um, I'm not really 100% sure if he is teething. I just know that he sucks on his hands a lot. Um, but I just bought it anyway because in the future he will be teething. And because he does suck on his hands, I just bought it for him anyway. So then I put him in his playpen. I got this from my baby shower, so I'm not exactly sure where they had got this from, but I know that you can probably find similar cheap ones at either Target or Walmart. So my little guy wore himself out and ended up falling asleep. So what I would do next is usually put him in his rockaroo chair. So while he's asleep, I like to go ahead and get things ready for bedtime. So I usually like to get four bottles ready for nighttime. Throughout the day he drinks five ounces, but at nighttime right before bed I just give him one extra ounce, six ounces, and I put that in one bottle. And then the other three bottles for him I'll fill up to five ounces. So bedtime is usually around 10.30 and he used to get up at 5 o'clock and now he's starting to wake up around 8 or 9 o'clock. He will usually go back to sleep and then he sleeps till around 12 or 1 o'clock and then he is officially up for the day. And then I have an extra bottle around 3 or 4 o'clock for him. So this is the type of formula that we use for him. I really like it and we haven't had any problems. And next I set his bottles next to my nightstand and I do this just because it's easier for me to grab and go and make his milk in the morning time. 
So next I'll pick out his pajamas for nighttime. Cornelius and I had got these cute pajamas from Carter's that I will leave a link down below for you guys. Next, I will start getting his bath stuff ready and I will get a small hand towel to wash him with. So I usually like to wash him up in the sink. So I'll usually just grab a few towels so that he'll have some cushion underneath him. And then I will go and grab his towel so that when he gets out, I'll have something to dry him off with. These are a couple of the items that I use to wash him up with. So while Kanil is still asleep, I like to go ahead and grab something quick to eat because he will be up in like 15 minutes. So, night, so tonight I just made something really quick and easy which was a grilled cheese and ham sandwich. Like I said, it was like 15 or 20 minutes before this kid got up. Ah, uh, life of a parent. So his godmother had got him this bumbo chair and he, but mostly I really like it because it's super convenient. Especially if I have some chores to do around the house or need to eat, I just can place them in there and it's just super convenient and super easy and I am allowed to get stuff done. So next is bath time and I like to test the water with my wrist just to make sure that it's not too hot. Next I'll get the towels and I will place them in the sink for cushion and I'll also place one at his neck and head area so that he can have something to rest in. And I will place just a little dab of the bath bathing soap in the water for him. So I love that Kanil isn't really fussy around bath time. He usually lets me wash him up without any hassle. So I will usually continue to splash warm water on him to keep him from getting cold. And then I'll use a rag to wet his hair so I can get prepared to lather and wash his hair. And guys, I did already wash his body before I washed his hair. So next I will place a small amount of the Aveeno wash and shampoo into my palm and I will lather it in my hands and then I will usually massage it into his scalp and hair. So next I will get a brush because Kanil does have a little bit of cradle cap at the top and I will scrub his hair but not too hard. I like to take a towel and wash his face with warm water. I don't really like to put any soap on his face and I also like to clean in his ears and behind his ears uh, but I let out all the water so that it's just a little damp so that I'm not getting any 
water in his ears. And now somebody is all happy and squeaky clean. And I really just love these hooded towels, guys. They are just very convenient. I mean, you can always just use a regular towel, but these hooded towels are just regular convenient and it keeps them nice and warm. I like to put on a playlist of Soft Rain just to get him in the mood and just to let him know that it is ready for bedtime. I moisturize him and cover him in thousands of kisses. Next, I like to put coconut oil on his face and on his hair. Um, I do put Vaseline on his body and I know a lot of you said that it's not good for babies, but honestly, the Aveeno and anything else that I find just breaks him out. So I either use that or I use raw shea butter. Kanil gets this ball of energy right before bed to where he's just kicking, kicking, kicking. And so I usually just let him play around until he wears himself out. So while he's over there getting all his energy out, I like to go ahead and start his bottle. I have six ounces of water and then I put three scoops of formula in. Comment down below guys, but does anybody else's babies kick them and fight them while you are trying to get them dressed? Cause Kanil surely does fight his mama while I'm trying to get him dressed. And I am proud to say that I have a big juicy baby and I know you guys can't believe, but this is actually a six month outfit. And like I said, yes, he is only three months old. This is the Summer Infant Slumber Buddies Nightlight and my best friend got this for me for my baby shower and if you are interested in it, I will leave a link down for you guys below. And this is actually the first night that I'm using it and I can't believe that this is the first night because I absolutely fell in love with it. It works perfect for us at nighttime. So that officially completes Canil's nightly routine. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I'd love if you say hello in my comment below and I can't wait to see you guys on my next video. Bye guys!